John Cena. While you uh <laughs> while you lie there, hopefully as uncomfortable as you possibly can be. I want you to listen to me. I don't hate you, John. I don't even dislike you. I do like you. I like you a hell of a lot more than most people in the back. <laughs> you see, I just I just hate this idea that you're the best. Because you're not. I'm the best. I'm the best in the world. There's a <laughs> there's one thing that uh that you're better at than I am. Well, that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. You're as good at kissing Vince's ass as Hulk Hogan was. I don't know about uh your little buddy Dwayne though. Uh he's a pretty good ass kisser. Oh whoops. I'm breaking the fourth wall. I am the best wrestler in the world. I've been the best ever since day one when I walked into this company. And I, of course, have been vilified and hated since that day because, well, Paul Heyman saw something in me that nobody else wanted to admit. Yeah, that's right. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. You know who else was a Paul Heyman guy, John? Brock Lesnar. And he split just like I'm splitting. But the biggest difference between me and Brock is that I will be leaving with your WWE Championship. I've grabbed so many of Vincent Kennedy McMahon's uh, imaginary brass rings that it's finally dawned on me that they're just that they're completely imaginary the only thing that's real is me and the fact that day in and day out for almost six years I have proved to everybody in the world that I'm the best on this microphone in that ring even on commentary nobody can touch me and yet no matter how many times I prove it well to be quite frank I'm not on your lovely little collector cups that you sip out of <clears throat> I'm not on the cover of the program I'm barely even promoted I don't get to be in movies I'm certainly not any crappy show on the USA Network I'm not on the poster of Wrestlemania I'm not on the signature that's produced at the start of the show each evening. I'm not on Conan O'Brien. I'm not on Jimmy Fallon. But the fact of the matter is, is that I should be. And trust me, this isn't just sour grapes. But the fact that Dwayne gets to be in the main event of WrestleMania next year, and I'm not, well, that just makes me sick. Oh, and, uh, hey, let me get something straight real quick. Those of you who are, uh, <laughs> cheering me right now, <laughs> well, you're just the biggest part of me leaving as anything else. Because you're the ones who are sipping on those, uh, lovely little collector cups right now. You're the ones that buy those programs that my face isn't on the cover of. And then at 5 in the morning at the airport, you try to shove it in my face so you can get an autograph. And try to sell it on eBay because you're too lazy to go and get yourselves a real job. So let me reiterate, I will be leaving with the WWE Championship on July 17th. And hell, well, who knows? Maybe I'll go defend it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Maybe I'll even go back to Ring of Honor. Hey, Colt Cabana. How are you doing? The reason I'm leaving is you people. Because after I'm gone, you're still going to pour money into this company. I'm just a spoke on the wheel. The wheel is going to keep turning. And I understand that. 
Vince McMahon is going to make money despite himself. He's a millionaire who should be a billionaire. And you want to know why he's not a billionaire? It's because he uh, surrounds himself with glad-handed, nonsensical, douchebag yes-men. Men like John Laurinaitis, who's going to tell him everything that he wants to hear. And I'd like to think that maybe this uh, little company here yeah, might be better after Vince McMahon is dead. But the fact is, it's going to be taken over by his idiotic daughter and his no-good doofus son-in-law and the rest of his stupid family. Let me tell you a personal story about Vince McMahon. We do this whole anti-bullying campaign. 